guys! It's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Ang pag-aaralan po natin ngayon ay ang part 3 ng main sector or section ng JLPTN4. JLPTN4 knowledge language section is divided into two main parts. The GOI or vocabulary and then the grammar and reading. Ito po muna tayo sa GOI. Ito pong GOI or vocabulary na hati po siya sa lima. Ito pong isi-share ko sa inyo ay Monday 3. So, part 3 po ito ng first main section ng language knowledge section. Ayan. So, simula na po natin. Number 1. Sa to sangga kegawashita to kite minna blank shimashita. May kainin? Sa to sangga kegawashita to kite minna blank shimashita. Number 1. Shinpai. Number two, Keiken. Number three, Shitsure. Number four, Fujiki. Okay, so let's go back to the options. So number one, Shinpai means worry. For example, wala pa yung kapatid nyo. Himbawa, yung inyong Emoto-san or yung youngest nyo, wala pa. You can say, Kanojo wa mada hiya ni kaiti inai. Shinpai ne. Okay. So, I'm worried that she hasn't come back home yet. Yan. That is how you use Shinpai. The next one is Keiken. Guys, Keiken means experience. For example, Watashi wa kodomo tachi ni eigo osheta koto keiken ga arimasu. I have experience teaching English to children. Okay? So, number three, Shitsurei. Shitsurei means impolite. Arigato yuanai to shitsurei desu yo. It's rude or it's in, impolite to say, not to say thank you, sorry. It's rude not to say thank you. So that is how you use shitsurei. The next one is ojigi. Ojigi, guys, means bow in Japan, in Japanese, sorry, in Japanese. In Nihon de wa. Hito to au toki ni wa ojigi wo shimas ojigi wo shimas. In Japan, we bow when we meet people. Halimbawa po, may nakasalubong kayo na kakilala nyo. Kahit hindi po kayo magsabi ng good morning or ohayo gozaimasu, medyo slight bow lang po kayo. Ibig sabihin, binabatin nyo po siya. Yan. Ganun po ang paggamit ng ojigi or bow. Meron po iba't ibang klase dito ng ojigi eh. Nabawa, di lang po talaga ako sure mga 30 degrees kung ikaw ay nagkasala. Yung para nabawa sa boss nyo, may nagawa ka hindi maganda. Dapat talaga medyo matagal yung pagbaw nyo at may mga degrees-degrees po yan. Pero kapag naman po yung nasabi ko kanina na may nakasalubong kayo na let's say kakilala or kapitbahay or kahit hindi nyo naman kakilala ba sa same apartment kayo, Kahit hindi nyo po sabihin na, oh, hayo gazaymas, medyo mag-slit. Bawo lang po kayo. Ibig sabihin po, binabatin nyo po yung isang tao. Yan. Yan po ang paggamit ng ujigi dito sa Japan. Okay, so anyway, let's go back to the sample sentence. Sato sangga. So, sato sangga. Sato or Mr. Sato. Kegawo shita. Kegawo shita means wounded. So, sato sangga at wounded. Okay? Kite. Heard. Minna means everybody. Blank shimashita. So this happened in the past. Okay, so the answer is. <laughs> so the answer is shinpai, which means worried. Okay, sa to sangga kega woshita to kite. Minna shinpai shimashita. When everybody heard about. Satosang being wounded or got wounded, everybody got worried. Siguro yun po yung pagkakatranslate in English. I hope so. Okay, so number two. Watashi wa shorai kasyo ni naruto yu blank ga arimas. The choices are keshiki, yume, three omoide, four sewa. Okay, Again, let's go back to the options. 
Okay, she came in scenery. Halimbawa po, din lang kayo ng isang kaibigan nyo sa, let's say, top of the mountain. Or let's say, sa kanilang rooftop. Let's say, sila ay, siya ay nakatira sa isang condominium unit. At nasa top floor yung kanilang condo. Papakita niyo sa inyo yung scenery. Magugulat ka naman. Wow, what a beautiful scenery. Or what a scenery. You can say, ah, ikeshiki desu ne. Oh, so good. Ikeshiki desu ne. Yan. What a nice scenery. Okay, next. Yume. Yume means dream. Sorry po, maingay. Okay, so anyway, watashi ni wa yume ga arimasu. Watashi ni wa yume ga arimasu. I have a dream. Okay. Next. Number three, omoide. Memory. Watashi no... Kodomo no koro no ichiban no omae de wa kazoku minna de jaribi de ice cream onaka ga ip onaka ippai tabita koto desu. My best childhood memory is eating ice cream with my family in Jalebi. Okay, so that is how you use memory in a sentence. Next, sewa. Sewa means help or aid. Watashi wa mainichi obaasan no sewa wo shite imasu. I take care of my grandmother every day. Or you can change like, not only grandmother, like your brother, ototo, younger brother. Watashi wa mainichi ototo no o sewa wo, or just sewa, ototo no sewa wo shite imasu. And that is how you use sewa. So let's go back to the sample sentence. Watashi wa I. Shorai means in the future. Kashu means singer. Iu blank ga arimas. So the answer is yume. Yume means dream. Watashi wa shorai kashu ni naruto iu yume ga arimas. I have a dream of being a singer someday. Okay. Or, I want to be a singer someday. Okay. Next, number three. Ri-san mo kondo no party ni blankite kudasai. Ne? Moikai ne? Ri-san mo kondo no party ni blankite kudasai. Ne? The choices are hijo ni. Two, zehi. Three, jubun. Four, itsuma. Okay, so let's go back to the options. Hijoni means extremely. Tatoi ba ne? Hmm. Ano? Nanigay ka na. Ano dress? For example, the dress. Ano dress wa? Wakai? Hito tachi ni hijo ni ninki ga arimas. For example, that dress is very popular with young people. Okay, hito tachi ni hito tachi people. Okay, ninki ga arimas means popular. Hijo ni ninki ga arimas very popular or extremely popular. That is how you use hijo ni. Next is zehi. Zehi means certainly or without fail. For example, if you visit Okinawa, you've got to come and see our house. So the Japanese is, Gominasai, Sashimi Chata. Okinawa ni kitara, Zehi, Watashita chin no. Iya ni asobi ni kite kodasai ne. Moikai ne. Okinawa ni kitara, Zehi. Watashi tachi no iye ni asobi ni kete kudasai ne. Okinawa ni kitara. If you come or if you visit Okinawa, zehi, maybe for sure, please come and visit us. Or you've got to come and see our house. Pwede din naman po yun. Dito po sa Japan, asobi can mean hang out or play a game or visit. Asobi ni kite. So, from outside, inside, kuru. From the word kuru, kite. Asobi ni kite means visit or come and see us. 
yung pong asobi. Halimbawa, laro naman tayo sa labas. Soto di, ah, soto de. Ishi ni asobi mo siyon eh. Let's play outside. Or you can also use asobi for hanging out. Ah, taka sa na. Ja, do yo bini. Ishi ni asobi mo siyo. Yan. Ah, nakakaan naman. Nakakaboard. Taka sa, nakakaboard. Pag hangout naman tayo sa ano, Saturday. Ayan. Asabi ni Ikuyo. Asabi ni Ikimashone. Ayan. So, next, number three, Jubun. Number three choice or option is Jubun. Means enough or sufficient. For example, kayo ay kumakain at yung host nag tinanong kayo, sabi niya, Moto, tabimas ka? Kakain ka pa ba ng Let's say, kakain ka pa ba? Gusto mo pa ba? Yan pala. Jubun des yo. Jubun des. It means, ah, enough. It's okay. I'm okay. Yan. Jubun des. Next, number four. Itsumo. Means always. For example, Lagi kang cute maname. And then, may nagsabi sa inyo na, sa akin, halimbawa, may nagsabi sa akin na, Oh, Jane! It's so kawaii this ne. You're always cute. Okay, so the answer would be. Would be. Zehi. Number two, Zehi. Bisan mo kondo no pate ni Zehi. Kite kudasai ne. It's like, please come to our next party for sure. Yan gusto niya talaga na pumunta si Risan sa kanilang. Party for sure. Kite kudasai ne. Please come. Okay? Again, zehi means certainly or for sure. Okay, number four. Kore kara. Kikai no tsukai kata wo blank shimasu ka. Yoku kite kudasai ne. Mui kai. Kore kara. Kikai no tsukai kata wo blank shimasu kara. Yoku kite kudasai. The options are junbi. Two, Ryo. Three, Setsume. Four, Seisan. Okay, so let's go back to the options. Junbi means preparation. Halimbawa, nag, naghahanda ka, nagme-makeup ka, mag-date kayo ng, ng iyong asawa or ng iyong boyfriend. Ah, Jane-san, Junbi, dekemashita ka? Are you ready? Ah, mada desu yo. I'm not yet ready. Ah, hi, Junbi, dekemashita yo. I'm ready. Yan. To wa. Ryo. Means use or utilization. For example, Anata wa kono kike o ryo subeki. Means you should take this opportunity. Yan. Number four. Setsume. Means explanation. Watashi ni. Kisoku wa setsume shite kudasai. Please explain to me the rules. Rules means in Japanese is kisoku. Kisoku. Number four, seisan. Seisan means manufacture or production. For example, Nihon wa oku no denki jidosha wa seisan shite imas. Nihon wa oku no densha jidosha wa seisan shite imas. Japan produces a lot of electric cars. Okay, so let's go back to the sample sentence. Kore kara. Kore kara means from now. Kikai no. Sukai kata. How to use. How to use the machine. Kikai means machine. Sukai kata means to use. How to use. Blank shimasu kara. Shimasu kara. Yoku kite kudasai na. Or, yoku kite kudasai. Dito po may yoku. Ibig sabihin, listen very carefully. Okay? Listen very carefully. So, the answer should be... Should be... Number... Three. Setsume. Means explanation. So, kore kara. Kikai no sukai kata wo. Setsume shimasu kara. Yoku kite kudasai. 
from now I'm going to explain how to use the machine. So please listen carefully. Yun po ang kanyang English. Okay, so next number five. Last na po tayo. Five. Haga waruino de blank mono wa taberare masen. Taberare masen means can't eat. Tabirare masen. Okay. Number one, kibishi. Number two, katai. Number three, hayoi. Number four, fukai. Okay, so let's go back to number one option. Kibishi means strict, rigid, severe, just like Japan. Japan is so strict. Nihon wa totemo kibishi des. For example, my father is so strict. Otosan wa, or watashi no otosan wa. Watashi no otosan wa totemo kibishi des. Watashi no otosan wa totemo kibishi des. Severe, rigid, or strict. Number two, katai. Means hard. Okay? Hard. Matigas. Okay? Kono pan wa katai des niya. Yan, katai. Number three, hayai. So, hayai, guys, can mean early or fast. For example, oh, kanojo wa ashi hayai ne. Kanojo wa ashi hayai ne. So, ashi hayai. Ashi is leg or feet. Hayai, fast. But when you combine them together, ashi hayai. She runs fast. Okay? And then, what else? Kanojo wa kyo hayaku okita. She woke up early today or in the morning is okay next is fukai means deep kono ido wa fukai desu this water well is so deep or deep this water well is deep kono ido wa fukai desu ido means water well okay so let's go back to the sample sentence ha ga warui no de warui means bad Blank mono wa tabirari masen. Mono is thing. Um, wa tabirari masen. Tabirari masen means can't eat. So the answer should be number number two, which is katai, means hard, matigas. Haga warui no de. Katai mono wa tabirari masen. My Tooth or teeth is not good, so I cannot eat hard food. Here, kasi po mono means thing, pero since mayroon siyang tabirari masen, means eat, so the translation would be, I can eat hard food because my teeth is not good. Yan. Siguro po yun yung pinakang close the closest translation for this sentence. Okay, so that's all for today po tayo. I hope you learned many vocabularies for today. Medyo marami-rami po ako may share sa inyo na mga vocabulary and I also gave you some examples. Again, I hope you learned something and see you on my next JLPT N4 language knowledge section sample sentences. Okay, goodbye!